One of the exciting new features of Modic 2.4 is the bi-directional HubSpot integration. To get this to work is actually really simple. You'll log into your HubSpot account, click on your icon, and click on Integrations. Down on the left, get your HubSpot API key. If you've never generated an API key before, this is the screen you'll see. You'll generate a new key, and it's as simple as that. Go ahead and copy that key, and let's set it up in Modic. Click on the gear, click on plugins, click on HubSpot, enable, paste the API key, click on features, and you'll notice that now HubSpot's integration is bi-directional, and you can include contacts and companies in the pull data. So I'm going to click on both of those, click Save, and click on the integration again, you'll see two new tabs, contact mapping and company mapping. Well, you've probably figured out already what to do there. You'll see all of these HubSpot fields are available to you. You'll now be able to create Modic fields and map them appropriately. This takes a little bit of planning. So I can't map these here already because of course, I don't have the fields created. It's simple to fix. I'm gonna click off of that click on the gear, click on custom fields, and I'll add the custom fields that I want to integrate between HubSpot and Modic here, and then simply go back and map the fields that I've created to the HubSpot fields that are going to be bidirectionally updated. I can do the same thing with the company fields, and again, just need to create those fields in the correct Modic container. So a few things to remember here. Not all activities from HubSpot will be brought over into Modic and vice versa. For instance, here on the screen, you'll see a number of sales activities field. You'll need a Modic field that tracks that. It doesn't track the actual activities logged by sales representatives, but it does tell you how many activities there have been. And there are a number of fields like that as you scroll through here. Number two, you'll need a campaign activity to actually send a contact to HubSpot the integration doesn't automatically send all of your Modic contacts back over to HubSpot, and that makes sense. So in a campaign, when you're ready to send that contact to HubSpot, you'll just add a push contact to integration action, and the contact will be pushed to HubSpot. Lastly, you can view a contact's timeline in Modic from a link from their page in HubSpot. In every single contact, you'll see a Modic timeline link that has been added, one caveat, if you're a sales representative, you'll need to have an account at Modic that gives you access to contacts and you'll need to be logged in. But when you do, you'll click on that link and all of the contacts history in Modic will be viewable. And finally, if you're using the self-hosted version of Modic, there's an additional cron job to pull the contacts from HubSpot into Modic. It's on the screen. PHP app console modic integration fetch leads integration equals HubSpot. And if you need a quick reminder of how to create those and set them up, there's a link on the screen to a blog post over at modic.org. And so that's the HubSpot integration in Modic 2.4.